Okay, in this video, I'm experimenting with creating a double glazed window that's both a cheap and permanent retrofit. I'm going to use 5mm thick perspex. Now, perspex can expand and contract a lot, and I'll need to account for that. So I've had it made to order a bit smaller than the cavity of the original window. But this also means I need to cover this imperfect edge somehow. So I'm going to make an inner wooden frame that sort of hides it away. I'm painting it all black to hopefully just sort of get lost in the shadows. And I'm even going to paint the window a little bit, just to the depth of the inner frame. So from the outside, it's quite a subtle border. To make sure it's sealed, I'm adding some black silicon to my inner frame, just on the side that butts up against the original wooden window frame. I'm also cutting up some cheap anti-slip matting. It's only sort of two or three dollars, and it'll be all I need to create a good non-permanent seal against the perspex. So should I ever need to get in between the windows, I still can. I also need a cheeky little spot for silica to hide away in. Silica should help wick away the moisture that might get in between the windows. Returning to my little drawing, I'll put spaces down first, silica in between, then a silica cover, and then the final frame to hold the perspex in place to finish. Coming back to the window over a year later, there seems to be no signs of mold or fungus. So either the seals are really good, or the silica is doing its job, or, or both. Whatever the case, it's working well, and it should really slow down the temperature exchange from outside to inside, and vice versa. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.